Babe, when you watch this, just know I'm so sorry. But your wife had to do what your wife had to do. Love you. Okay, so listen. You know I am new to these people YouTube. So I don't really know the rules about music playing and stuff. So I'm not going to play my music in the background. But just know your girl was jamming. Listening to that Usher, that Jasmine Sullivan. Like, I was in such a mood. But comment below and let me know. Like, when you guys work out... Do you guys like to listen to like fast upbeat music or you like the 90s slow jam? I'm good either way it goes. Okay, your girl lost her booty so I got to get it back. I love using my OMG glutes um, band because it works perfect. Damn, that little old kitty cat looking fat in the screen. But no, Seriously, I gotta get this booty right for this wedding, and I gotta like think of something. Days, baby girl, we gotta get it together. right here when I realized trying to do a full-blown workout for the first time after six weeks and with my foot was not a great idea but you know the self-proclaimed superwoman I felt like I got to do it all and instead of like stopping your girl just kept going <laughs> Okay, so listen, I know you probably like, I know this girl is not going to keep this video going and not tell us what's going on with the foot. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's story time. On Thursday, I was sitting upstairs and all of a sudden I heard this noise that sounded like someone was banging on the door. Not to mention my dog sound the alarm too. And I'm instantly thinking like, well, my husband would bang on the door. He has a key. But then I'm like, oh, shit, my son is downstairs on the couch, and somebody coming through, that's the first person. Y'all, I got up to take off downstairs and run, and I twisted my foot, and I was on the phone with my daddy, and I screamed. So I had my husband running upstairs, my daddy on the phone like, what's wrong, what's going on? So I'm having two different conversations at the same time. I'm like, my foot, my foot, my foot. But you know me, I'm like, whatever, it hurts, I'll get over it. I'll just ice it up and keep it elevated for the rest of the day. Turns out your girl had to go to the hospital. So I ended up spraining my foot and I have to wear a brace now. All right, now let's get back into me working out for the first time in six weeks since my surgery and on one foot. So besides squats, these are my all time favorite exercises. But um, Hendrix was definitely getting my way and did not want me to be great. But honestly, can we really talk about these um, so-called push-ups that I'm doing? Help your girl out because your girl struggles with the push-ups, okay? <laughs> and we're not even about to brush over how I had to get up like that, okay? I can't even lie, y'all. Sometimes I'd be so amazed at my results and I'd be like, damn, ma, that's you. All right, enough about my boobs. Although, I'm really loving the girls. I was like, okay, I'm going to do an hour workout again. Yeah, an hour turned into 30 minutes because the pain was starting to become too much. I didn't realize how important it is to you or to have access to both of your feet during a workout. I guess I just felt like 
as long as I had one foot, I was good to go. But no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. <laughs> that was not the case, all right? Oh no, nah, sis was done here. Can we please take a moment for my Georgia coasters? Yes. I want a booty. Who wants a booty? I want a booty. Who wants a booty? I want a booty. Don't stop. Keep going. Y'all, I finally get to work out after my six week probation. And this is no joke. With a sprained foot, I gotta get it, cause your girl gotta get that booty bag. It's not giving what it's supposed to get. And I gotta get this tummy on flat flat. So, yes, I can't get married looking like Oompa Loompa. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. <laughs> All right, and after a good workout, I have to make a shake. You start off with water, fill it up to the one line. And I gotta get my Urban Life, girl. I use my vanilla protein mix. I only like vanilla. I'm kind of basic in that area. Can't blame me. You only need two scoops. Don't do like I did, y'all. When I first started using Urban Life, I was messing it up. But two full scoops, don't, don't sugarcoat it, don't skip no beats, okay? Because then you're not gonna have that flat tummy. So after you use your two scoops of vanilla protein, you now need your flavor. Now, there's a whole bunch of flavors that we have for Herbalife, but my favorite is banana caramel. If you never have banana caramel, you need to go ahead and order right now. I will put the link below for you, okay? And just like our protein mix, you need two scoops. Again, nothing more, nothing less. Don't be like me and messing it up. Equal ratios, okay? Equal ratios. Look at this, y'all. I'm at the end. So, husband, if you've seen this, it's time to read your girl up. I can't have no flabby tummy for the wedding. Okay, now this part is really simple. You did your one cup of water, two scoops of protein, two scoops of your flavor. For me, banana caramel. Now, all you need to do is simple. Just blend that girl up. Blend it up. I know what you're thinking. How's it going to make a shake? But baby, trust the process. So hit one. Blend it for a little bit. Okay, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, now you need your ice cubes. Now be mindful. I like to use like three to four ice cubes because it makes it thick. Now if you like your stuff loosey loosey, then that's what works for you. But me, I'm more so like a milkshake type of girl. So I like it nice and thick. That's pretty much how I like everything thick. But I'm just saying, fun fact, when your girl first started doing her Herbalife shakes, I was not getting it together. So my shakes were so icy, you would have thought I had a full time job at Sonic. So I looked and it just wasn't thick enough for me. I needed thicker like a snicker, thicker like me. So I had to add more ice. Okay, now we're back with more ice, and I believe this time is going to be the trick. But just in case it's not, your girl got another ice cube on lock, on deck, because I hate going back and forth, okay? I just don't like that. So I'm like, let me check. I'm not really feeling like it's thick enough for me, you know? Then I don't want it too thick, but I said, you know what? Who cares? We're just going to go with it today. But this isn't even the best part of the shake. Not even. Let me show you the best part. So before I get into all that, I have 5 million cups, but I think this is definitely my favorite one. Black girl magic, what you know about that? All black girls stand up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But this is also my favorite cup. Mm, yeah, you see your girl was struggling with trying to get you guys to be able to see it in the camera. Let's see if I get it right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but basically what it says is you can't pour from an empty cup. That's my motto. That's my saying. And that's the way I live out of life. But can we get into the thickness of this shake? Yes, sis. Yes. Oh, my God. Y'all, this shake. Oh, 
was so good. Two shakes a day takes the fat away. And like I already told y'all, my wedding is in a couple days. Well, not a couple, like 50 something, but that's not the point. We got to get this stomach snatched, ass and out, right? When my husband see me walk down the aisle, he got to be like, damn, that is my wife. Okay, now listen. No shake left behind. This shit is too good to leave it in the blender. Not only is it too good, baby girl, it's too expensive. I'm not going to be spending all this money on a product to leave it in the blender. No, thank you. Get it, get it, get it all. Yes, we leave nothing behind. But here comes my favorite part. Pro Lessa. Listen, what's the shake without Pro Lessa? If you're really trying to lose that fat, then you need the Pro Lessa. You only need one scoop. Don't even overdo it. And you can take a Pro Lessa as a straight shot. Try to spit all that shit back up. But like I told you, we don't play with these products. They too expensive. So I put one scoop in my shake because that's what's going to burn that fat, that fat down your tummy area. And it's really going to curb your appetite. So you're not going to be hungry that much later on. And if you are, if you do get hungry, just eat something healthy, okay? I don't know if that message was for you or for me. Can we talk about why we still be wearing the hospital beds even after we left? Like, girl, go cut that shit off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did I just drop that product? I know I didn't. Okay, y'all, I was trying to show y'all how it worked, but I ain't gonna keep dropping product for y'all to see this. Y'all understand the assignment. Stir, stir, stir. But you know what? Let me be nice. I have waited for this moment for six long weeks. This is my favorite way to decompress, and I love this bath so. Ah, amazing. Before we go, I need a round of applause for this editing. Yes! 